Hi girl, I just filmed my try on of my Tribe Beauty Box this time around. The eyes look amazing, my top is pretty cool. The only thing is, like the hair's just not the jam. And I typically have my hair ready to go when I go to film, but you guys have been wanting to see this tutorial that I learned off of TikTok. So I'm gonna go ahead and do it for you guys here. Let me move my mirror. This is so easy. Easy peasy, lemon freaking squeezy, guys. Let me show you what you're going to need. First of all, you are going to need little like um, elastics. These are uh, from the dollar store. I get the black ones because my hair's dark. If you have light hair, then you can go with the clear or whichever one you want because at the end of the day, you're really not gonna see it so it doesn't matter but these elastics will not rip your hair and they stretch really well. Uh, and honestly, I use uh, like three just because I'm afraid that as I'm stretching, it's gonna break and I don't want it to lose its hold. So I use three. Another thing you're gonna need is some sort of like teasing comb, belly, like a like, like little teasing comb situation that's gonna help your hair kind of lay nice and flat in certain areas. So that's that. You're going to need a little elastic. I like these because they don't have the little metal, so it's no matter how much you stretch it, it's not going to break and it's not gonna pull on your hair and your hair typically will not tangle with this. You're also going to need some sort of spray. I don't really like hairspray like that, so I limit my hairspray use, but if anything, I'll try to use something that's like a smoothing spray or a texturizing spray just so that I get the most out of it. I don't like anything that's gonna make my hair super, super hard unless it's absolutely necessary. Do I own something like that? Yes. Do I use it? Yes, but again, only if it's absolutely freaking necessary. I'm gonna use the Good Behavior Spirulina Protein Smoothing Spray because I wanna like smooth edges and smooth areas. And last but not least, you're gonna need hair. <laughs> I know that doesn't make any damn sense. Duh, it's a hair tutorial, you need some hair. You're gonna need your hair to not be freshly washed. Anything after one day should be fine. I typically do like last resort. I have nothing to do. My hair's really dirty and I need to clean it. So let's try to make it look cute. Just because you're gonna apply product. I, this is my theory. I'm gonna apply product and then I'm gonna feel gross about it and I'm gonna have to wash it. Cause I don't like to apply like gel and hairspray so much or even mousses and stuff. So I wait till like my hair is like, like this to where I put it like this and it's not moving. It needs to get washed. So I will do my hair, wash it tonight because I have to wash off the product. Anyway, so what are we gonna do? I did curl my hair a few days ago and this is the mess that we got going on. Uh, but we are going to make it look hot, okay? So again, credit to a creator on TikTok. There's more than one, but I saw this on TikTok because I be living on TikTok. So uh, first step, I'm gonna go like this and then I'm just kind of gonna grab a nice little chunk, something like this, not a lot, just a nice little chunk. And we're gonna pull this chunk like this here. I'm gonna grab the rest of my hair with a little moñito with the elastic and I'm gonna pull it back. I'm gonna do like a little faux bun situation just so that I'm really getting it out of the way. If you have really short hair, you don't have to worry about it, but my hair's gotten longer, so I need it. Then I'm gonna take this down. And by the way, you might wanna have bobby pins just in case you need it. Like I rarely use it, but in case. You're gonna pull your hair like this and this is so not sexy, okay? I get it, we're gonna fix that. Don't worry about little like baby hairs if you have them. I now have a whole bunch of them and I can't do anything about it. So I am splitting the hair in three because we're gonna do like a quick little ugly funky braid and then just crisscross apple sauce. It doesn't have to be super tight but it can be if you want it to be. Gonna go like this and you're gonna braid it as far down as you possibly can. You see? My hair is getting so long I remember how tiny this was. This is not like the regrowth but you know some portions of it has regrowth, which makes me really excited. Okay, so that's as far down as I can go. I'm grabbing three little elastics, and then I am going to secure the end of this ugly little braid. Poof. I know this is so sexy, right? And then I'm just going to start pulling here to make certain pieces like wider, thicker. If you have really long hair, then kudos to you. This is gonna look absolutely amazing. But I don't have like really long hair. So I have to kind of make this work. Loosen, 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 loosen. More so up here, right? Cause this is the part that most people could see. And that's as loose as I can make it, even uglier, I know. Then we're gonna take this hair down. And now's the fun part. Now we're going to do like a half up. 
And if you curled your hair, this is gonna be a little annoying, but you'll be able to do it. You see this? This is why you need your spray. But again, I don't like to apply too much hairspray. Apply whatever it is that you need. Take your brush and start combing up. I don't worry too much about this edge here because you know you style it afterwards. But you want to get most of it as smooth as possible and avoid like showing like gaps like this. Okay, that's as good as it's gonna get. And then you're gonna secure that up here. You don't have to put it too tight either. Like don't make it super tight because then you'll get headaches. So I'm looping it twice and I'm done. Here's the, the funky part. We have to create a little like hole here because we're gonna take this ponytail and all the hair and put it through here. I know, it's a lot. So if you have to pull the little ties that you secured it with lower, then do that so you can fit as much hair as possible through there. And it doesn't matter the color of the hair tie you use because look, it's being covered by your braid and it's also pulling this up, which makes it look way more voluminous. And now you just have to worry about these parts here. So like I would take bobby pins and secure this down. If you don't have like flyaways and that kind of thing, then you can skip that. That seems about right. And now we can worry about these little baby hairs and the edges looking cute. So once again, you're gonna spray a little bit. Just gonna comb it out and up. Of course, the more product you apply, the flatter and like more precise it's gonna look, but girl, you know, I'm not all about that hairspray life, I keep saying that. So, I avoid applying too much product on my hair. My hair is already thin, and I'm dealing with this regrowth journey, so I'd rather just avoid overdoing product. Okay, and there you go. This is the completed look. The braid is there. You can be more precise and stuff, but I just think it's like grungy and cute and fly, and I absolutely love it. Let me know what you guys think. Is this super easy for you guys to follow? Do you think you can recreate it? And if you ever recreate it and post pictures on social media, you know I want to see them, so make sure you tag me. And what else was I gonna tell you? Oh, I do have a vlog channel. It is up live. It's open. People are subscribing. I appreciate all the love and support. It is a way for you guys to know me more behind the scenes get to know my family go on vacations with me i'm also adding cooking recipes and all that stuff hauls and lifestyle just lifestyle so make sure you guys go check it out show it some love i really appreciate it if you guys supported me over on that channel as well i already have videos up so make sure you go check it out and i'll see you guys on the next video bye guys